Hello everyone, this is Alchemist 2, back again with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing the film called uh, Bright Star. Now this film stars British actors, no one that I am at all familiar with, but it's uh, encompassing the story of the famous romantic poet John Keats. And being a huge Keats fan, I absolutely adored this film. Not only was it historically accurate, but it's um, periodically accurate, the costumes are accurate, the setting is accurate, um, and just the, the backdrop, the, the, um, the scenery in and of itself is just absolutely sumptuous. It's beautiful. The most beautiful uh, cinematography I've ever seen. And it makes me want to go to England that much worse. But um, I would give this film four stars, definitely. But I would warn anybody who is going to see this movie not knowing anything about Mr. Keats himself that you are going to need Kleenex. Badly. Um, I'm not going to say what happens and unless you're a history buff, you you know what happens, but um, basically, it's just the story itself is just such a sweeping love story. It's just it's heartbreaking, but it's just so beautiful and just tremendous. It just proves that even no matter what happens, love love survives, and um, that is the main message that I got from the film. And the, uh, I also like the music from it. The music is uh, very pleasant and just uh, uplifting. And just hearing Keats's poetry spoken by a native-born uh, Brit, just <sighs> rapture, absolute ambrosia, nirvana. <laughs> I, I could go on, but I, I'm not going to uh, bore you to death. But there was one part, me being a poet, that I could relate to, <laughs> where um, Keats and his, uh, his partner, they are musing, and uh, Fanny Braun, <laughs> she's, a, she's a real character, and she asks them, what they are doing, and Mr. Brown says, well, if it looks like we are doing nothing, we are not, for we are musing. <laughs> well, to the outside world, it may look like they are doing nothing, but they are collecting all their thoughts together as a team and <laughs> trying to uh, make sense out of uh, incoherent babblings <laughs> from their muses. But it's I just thought that was very funny because that's basically the life of a writer. <sighs> so I just I thought this this movie was just very uplifting and uh, extremely accurate and uh, just uh, for anybody who is a fan of uh, Mr. Keats's work and the man himself, just to, just to see what his life might have been like. I definitely recommend this film. It's it's just absolutely incredible and just everything about it is tremendous even if it is uh, you know melancholy but you know the end is the end is actually uh, I think the ending is bittersweet in, in a way and it just shows you the the depth of Fanny's uh, devotion to, to John but you can judge for yourself but still I would give Bright Star four stars Definitely. If you have uh, time, then I would see it. And if you have an English class who is learning about Mr. Keats, I would recommend it because I think you could see his life and what type of a man he was. And understanding the the uh, just the the methods of the day and, and, and medicine as well. I I also thought that was interesting. And. Uh, that's about all I have to say about uh, Bright Star. So stay tuned because I believe that this weekend I'm going to be interviewing. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing 
Alice in Wonderland. I hope I'm going to be reviewing Alice in Wonderland. So I will let you know what I think about that when I see it. So stay tuned. <laughs>